How's it going YouTube? My name is Blake Yarbrough. I got another package in the mail which I am very excited to unbox for you guys. I'm going to show you some on foot looks so you can get a good idea of what these shoes look like on feet before you purchase them. And I'll give you my honest opinion of Nike's execution on this shoe model. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right guys, so what we have here is a green Nike box. It is similar to an Air Jordan 1 box. You've got the green Nike lid. If you got a quick peek right there, or if you can see here on the side, it says Hawkins High School. This is the 1985 Nike Stranger Things collaboration. This particular pair here is the Air Tailwind 79. On the label, you'll see here it reads Air Tailwind QSHH. That stands for Quick Strike and Hawkins High School which is from the Netflix series. These retailed at $120. The box is pretty cool. On this side, it says 1985 Nike Stranger Things. You've got a Nike logo here, Nike Stranger Things up here. And then on this side, you've got the Hawkins High School. And this is very similar to a Jordan 1 box, a little bit different, but very similar. As with many Nike collaborations, you will usually get a little bit more of a premium packaging. As you can see, this box is better than what you would normally get on any other Nike sportswear release. Inside of the lid, you've also got the Nike Stranger Things. You've got this newspaper style tissue paper, double layered, which is very common. If you guys remember back far enough, Area 72 All-Star Shoes came with a very similar styled Area 72 newspaper. This is very, very similar. It is nice to see them do something extra, you know, to differentiate these from any other Nike release, at least in my opinion. And I've already got a little peek of them here in the corner, and I can tell that these are very, very bright green shoes. Wow, all right. These are very bright green shoes. Let's go ahead and take an up close look at these and then we'll come back and kind of discuss them here at the table. All right, so now that you guys have seen what the shoes look like, let's kind of go over what else is in the box. Hawkins Post, which is supposed to be like, you know, the front page of the newspaper from Indiana, which is where the show is set. Although we all know where it's really filmed here in the great state of Georgia, which is another reason why I wanted to purchase at least one pair out of this collaboration uh, because it is filmed here in Atlanta where I'm from, so I wanted to have at least one pair and remember that. Also in the box, you've got this pin set. So let's go ahead and bust this open. All right, from pictures, I thought that this piece right here was leather, but it's not, it's just paper. Um, but this is just a little pin set, which I'll show you guys up close. You've got a Nike Stranger Things pin, one that says Scoops Ahoy Ice Cream Parlor, Hawkins Phys Ed 85, um, because this is set in 1985. Little things like this, I do like extra accessories. I'm a little disappointed that they did not come with an extra lace set. So I guess that kind of transitions us into me giving you my opinion of these. But before we do that, Let's go ahead and put these on my feet and show you how they look. And that's how they look on feet. In my opinion, they look very good. This retro running style is very popular right now. And although it's gonna be somewhat of a trend for now, I think that these will always be a good looking shoe. It's a classic style and it's something that transcends a lot of generations. So overall, I mean, the construction of this shoe, I give Nike a thumbs up. You guys did a good job 
I don't have any crazy glue marks or you know any stitching coming out anywhere. So overall to me, the construction of this shoe definitely gets an A. You know, I don't know if it's an A plus, but it's definitely an A in my opinion. Now, here's my overall opinion on the collaboration. It can really be summarized kind of with this piece right here, actually. To me, this is a very weak accessory. Pins are cool to collect if you're into that sort of thing, but uh, I'm not. While I do like these, they're just gonna sit in a box. To me, this was a waste when they could have done something a lot better. If you guys remember the first release or re-release of the Tailwind 79 was an all gray pair with the blue swoosh they released um, maybe about a year ago now. That pair came with special packaging. Not only did it come with special packaging, it came with these socks, which is to me a very, very cool accessory because they use like the really, really retro logo with the big swoosh, uh, the big font there on the ankle. And then you've got a uh, Nike swoosh there on the top of the toe. But to me, this is a much better accessory to come with a pair of shoes than a set of pins. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Would you rather have the pins or would you have rather seen a Stranger Things pair of socks? What do you think would be the best accessory for this Stranger Things collaboration? Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And to me, this was the best looking shoe. That is another reason why I purchased it out of the three. I think the construction and the quality of the shoe is very good. Um, it's a good looking shoe. Overall, I like them. I like how they look on my feet. I'm definitely gonna wear them for sure. I think the execution of the collaboration was a little bit underwhelming is a good word to use. The apparel to me was not very creative. I know it's supposed to look like high school apparel, but to me the graphics could have been a lot better. I give Nike credit all the time for being such a creative company. In my opinion, they just dropped the ball a little bit as far as creativity goes. Again, the shoe quality is great. I'm happy I purchased these. I think they're worth it. And that's pretty much gonna sum up my opinion on this release as always guys thank you for watching today's video hopefully you enjoyed it please hit that like button drop a comment in the comment section below let me know if you picked up anything from the first release of the stranger things and nike collaboration i love to talk about sneakers and interacting with you guys through the comment section is one of the best ways so leave a comment let me know what do you think of this collaboration and i've got some more videos coming guys so stay tuned by subscribing down below Thank you.